Howdy folks, welcome back to Vintage Story. I've got a lot to catch up on. It's been almost a month since the last video and I've been pretty busy, mostly just hanging around the base and working on this area, doing a few little odds and ends. You'll notice there's a new building over there. So yeah, let's dive in and get you caught up. Uh, it's coming on daylight so we can put the oil lamp away. So I did get, is that music or noise? Um, I did get the uh, chicken moved, and I built a chicken house, and I captured another chicken. <laughs> Still no rooster yet, but I'm trying. So I've got a little chicken house, and this will likely change at some point, but it'll do for now, I think. So I've got some fencing to hopefully keep the bears away from the windows. Stuff like that. I've been working on clearing this out. So they can't hopefully get in from the top. I don't think they could destroy the roof, but I'm still learning a lot about this game. And I'm not 100% sure how everything works yet. There's a lot to know. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the chicken house here. Say so we'll keep my oil lamp out. So yeah, a couple, uh, couple of them in there. They've eaten all their food already. I'm not feeding them a ton just because I want to be able to last the winter out and I might need the grain for myself. But you can see I got a couple uh, nesting boxes there. They're inside of each other, but there are two hens there now. So we had that going on. That took quite a bit of uh, time and it's slightly different rock because that's what I had available. Like I said, that will likely change at some point and get to be a, a little bigger and just better designed. As I know somebody was telling me in the comments when they're nesting, if you scare them too much, they won't actually brood. So got to be aware of that. Got some little trees planted and I've been just filling out the uh, front area here, doing some landscaping. It's a little hard to tell now with the snow on kind of what's going on, but I've got the nice uh, walkway here with some stairs and just making some terracing. Uh, I found out you can't move the soil, unfortunately. You break the uh, owed, you know, farmland block, it just disappears. So I just kind of left this here, maybe to attract some animals. We'll see what happens. Not too terribly worried about it. Our main farm is still over here. Although it probably needs to be bigger at some point. Uh, I went ahead and took the raft out because I wasn't sure what happened. You can see the lake is starting to freeze over. And this is slippery. <laughs> Love it. And another nice little detail I noticed is it started freezing around like the edges and the plants and stuff first. Very cool. So yeah, that's starting to freeze over. Lots of snow. Snow even builds up on the fence tops. I love all the little details in this game. It's fantastic. Get a pretty good uh, seed su supply ready for next spring. That's from not only the harvest, but just for my explor exploring around. And it looks like that trap has not tripped yet. So I went to take a little trip over here. I wanted to check out this. Uh, unfortunately, there is wolves everywhere. I got my butt kicked, almost died. Had to come scampering back home. So we will get to that at some point. Uh, but I also have discovered since, I forget which episode it was, the rainy day episode. There's actually some better armor I can build. Um, somehow I missed it in amongst all the armor, but you can use pelts and then you make these little copper plates. So I've got a couple of molds for those ready to go, but we are out of copper. I did make a couple extra picks and an extra hammer. And then we're just now just, we're completely out. We're uh, almost halfway through on the compost. So that should be done by spring. No problem. And let's see what else. I did find some more peat. I brought that back. I've done quite a bit of just running around, uh, gathering your resources. I want to go check on a, the animal pit. I dug a pit over there to try to trap some animals. So we'll go check on that. These pine trees that I planted earlier in the year, they're growing up nice as well as the birch trees. So we've got some wood around here for the wintertime. If we do run out of wood, we will see how that goes. Uh, Food-wise, doing okay. Been eating some scrambled eggs. And then here, this is uh, flax with carrots. But I uh, went ahead and cooked up most of the eggs that the chicken had given me. 
made a big old pot of scrambled eggs with some onions, I think, in it. And let's see, anything else? Oh, yes. The trapdoor. <laughs> so I decided, eh, let's dig straight down. I kind of wanted to see like how the rock layers and stuff worked. So that's what this is all about. So it's pretty much shale. Shale, shale, shale. Did some uh, exploratory digging here and there. Shale, shale, shale. Then we got into some chert and a little bit of a periodite. Periodite? Try to say that. Uh, not, a, not a very big pocket, but just a little bit of chert. Uh, another exploratory dig. Didn't find anything. Kept on going down, and it's pretty much periodite all the way down. And then, hey, look. There is a little bit of an iron node down here. So I uncovered a little bit of it. I didn't want to burn up too much of my pickaxes. I already burned a lot coming all the way down here. As well as used a ton of ladders. But yeah, we got some iron right here. I'm really curious to see if this ties in with the iron node that we found in the cave. But I don't remember for sure which kind of rock it was in. So it may be a completely different setup. While I'm here, I have a little bit of pickaxe. Yeah, that does keep going that way. I thought it might. So, a pretty good sized iron deposit, I have a feeling. So that's cool to find down here. We're not at the Iron Age yet. We're quite a ways away from that. But it's here, ready and waiting for us, as well as the iron over there in the cave. So that was kind of cool. I just wanted to see like what kind of rock there was here. And it's, you know, shale and a little bit of stuff as you go deeper. Of course, I can't go through the iron to go any deeper, so I just stopped. So we got our little mine shaft there. Put a trap door on it just so I wouldn't keep falling down in there. And let's see. I think I think that's about how you caught up. We're going to go check the animal trap here in a second. Uh, oh, I did make the bow. It took, uh, I figured it was three or four, five days, something like that. But the bow uh, stave got dried and it's good. Those are both still showing as raw, so they're not dry yet. I think it dries quicker in an inventory, somebody said. Uh, I kind of like them just hanging up there on the wall, so we'll leave those there. Go ahead and throw my rock in. You can see I've been gathering stuff. And I'm going to move this back out to the farm. So it's like I said, it's been almost a month in game. Uh, probably forgotten something to show y'all, but you can always ask in the comments. You see something. So let's see. It is not quite noon yet. Let's run over and check this animal box I made. I've been doing a lot of digging. I want to build uh, probably some kind of a stairway, maybe, or maybe just a tunnel straight through or something, just to get access to over here. Uh, this will probably go away at some point. It was started out as a retaining wall to hold this dirt back, but I've since uh, got the dirt removed. Shovels are cheap. I've burned through so many shovels. But it'd be fun to have like some kind of stairway or like I said, maybe a tunnel just to save a little bit of hopping. See if I can figure out where I put this pit. It's over here in the main kind of valley area that I've been visiting. I think it's over there. Just got to be careful not step off into a cave. There are quite a few caves over here. I like how the snow like builds up on top. It's really neat. Whoa. Over here by this little marker is where the pit is. I do need to explore around here just a little bit more. Also, I'm not sure why that's there. I must have been turned around at some point. I need to go fix that. So here is the new pit. I went ahead and planted a berry bush. So maybe we can get some raccoons in here when those are... Uh, bearing fruit. Then I have a large trough 
with grain in it to try to attract deer, pigs, that kind of thing. Um, I just built that, I think, yesterday in game. So not too surprising there's nothing there yet. Might have to go fix that marker. I may have been exploring back in there and just pointed back at the water at some point. I don't know if the animals can starve to death. Oh man, there's some bunch of chickens around. I need to get my trap over here. That'd probably be a better place for the chicken trap. I think I saw a rooster. I've been all around in here. I don't remember why I put that marker there, but it is pointing in the wrong direction, so. That's a bunny rabbit. Oh, I did a little panning and uh, made myself a second copper spear. You're just a chicken. All right, let's get up top and fix that marker. Assume I can get up there. I was up there once. There it is. Yeah, why was I pointing that direction? Not sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a that. That's my like this way pointer. And that looks like that's getting into forest area possibly. Ooh, what's that? Is that just fire clay, or is that something more interesting? Yeah, it's just fire clay. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Wow. That could have been bad. Keep hoping in all these cliffs I would find something. Oh, I think I remember now finding this fire clay. It was in, it was in the dark. So I was a little bit turned around when I made that marker. Yeah, this is getting into forest territory. My cheaty binoculars. Just kind of see dirt and what looks like uh, basalt. All right, let's not get too far over into the forest. Do I sink in the snow? Oops, wrong button. Yeah, you do sink in the snow. Cool. That's a raccoon. I need you to come over in my trap later there, buddy. Is maple? Yep. Yeah, we're getting into the foresty area here. An eye out for wolves. I may want to expand my crops even more because we're getting quite a bit of flaxseed. Uh, speaking of flaxseed, I don't think I showed it off in the video yet. I did discover you can make linen sacks, which have five storage slots. And it just takes one linen cloth and one twine. Super easy to make. So, could have made those a long time ago. Didn't think about it. There's just so much stuff you can make. Still keep discovering things. I do want to take the bow out hunting at some point. I 
bet a big old copper deposit. Of course, it's going to be hard to find a copper deposit, I think, in the snow. It's getting on towards dark. The days are shorter in the winter, it seems like. Nice touch. I was afraid of that. Let's see if we can get up on this big giant hill. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> quite a little help from some, some packed dirt oh boy Yeah, that's just more basalt. Okay, well, we made it to the top. I saw a marker over here somewhere. Where? On the other side of the tree? I thought I saw a marker up here somewhere. Well, let's, let's make one. And it's going to be like that. Yeah, I don't know where I saw that marker. I thought I saw one over here. I'm just going to check these cliffs. I don't see any ore veins. Big old cliff back over there, too. Is that my... Oh, that's my original mountain. So that my original base is over there behind that. Could have been bad. Um, yeah. Ooh, what's that? Probably just quartz. Ooh, that is super steep. There's another marker. I've been back over here before. So this playthrough has been quite fun, but I look forward to the next series as well. We're going to dive into the exciting world of mods and have the map on. Oh, crap. And have the uh, prospecting pick node search enabled. Just a little bit different uh, playthrough than this first foray into Homo sapiens. And I haven't decided yet if I want to do another kind of like wilderness or if I want to actually get into the lore stuff. The lore stuff just doesn't really interest me too much. But there are advantages, of course, with especially with like traders and ruins. This almost make it a little too easy, but this has been pretty hard. Learning curve. It'd be fun at some point to start over, you know, and use what I've learned. A little bit easier start, maybe. But this series is going to go for a while. I definitely want to at least, you know, survive my first winter if I can. But it's going to be tough to move past the Copper Age, I think. Just with where we're at. It's almost a little natural tunnel here. With where we're at and the lack of map makes it harder to prospect. A very thin mountain. And I need some food here. What stuff doesn't go as far as like the hearty meats and stuff? Yeah, this is barely half. 
barely half full. Hear a rooster off over the distance. So I might need to come over here and set some chicken traps. A little bit off the uh, beaten path. Nice view. But it is getting dark, so I think I should probably head back over to base. If I had more food, I might stay out. This food I had just doesn't last very long. Yeah, there's chicken. I thought I heard a rooster off in the distance as well. Another cool detail is the snow will actually build up on the like the tree leaves. That's pretty cool. The flax here. Bunch of quartz. I'm curious, now that I have the pick, let me just do I get like a quartz chunk or what do I get out of here? Quartz and basalt. Oh, bronze. Never mind. <laughs> what we get is a whole bunch of nothing. Let me just go ahead and eat this, I think. How's my grain doing? Yeah, we could use a little grain. Hey, bunny. How's it going? Oh, I missed. Get through here? Nope. It's super dark, so I definitely need to get back in familiar territory. We need to go that way. I don't remember where I came through the mountain. There's a little notch that I came through. Probably should have marked that. It's down here. Yep. All right. Up and over we go. Lots of boulders. We'll take that. We can always use stone. This is a bad place to try to climb up there, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, we're going to go around. Quartz, more chickens. Hope you guys find my trap. I don't know how far they will travel. Well, there's a marker behind that spire. Yeah, I think I'm heading in the right direction. I just I missed the notch though where I came through that saved a lot of climbing. Okay, is this my little lake? Oh, I got some carrots that I missed. This is my little lake. Oops. Yeah, this is my little lake. And it's mostly ice covered. Mostly ice. I fall into the cold, cold water. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to start picking up obsidian again because I've been making a lot of tools. Mainly shovels. Been burning through a lot of those. And I will try to remember in the edit to throw a gamma on this dark part because I can see okay. And when I'm editing, I can see okay. But I noticed in, uh, I think it was the Copper Run video, it was super dark once it got up on YouTube. And I can see it okay on my monitor. I've got a nice, big, bright monitor, but I had a couple different people comment that it was really dark. So, sorry about that. It was fine for me, but if your monitor is especially dark, it was probably hard to see. Yeah, I'm getting quite the uh, collection of seeds there. That's great. I think one of my winter projects might be... Do I need to expand the farm? That's quite a bit of stuff. We'll we'll see how it goes. You can never have too much grain, I'm thinking. Okay, well, we made it back. Nice little adventure. I think I'm just going to go ahead and eat this carrot. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to get some food out of the cellar. Let's get our stones put away. A full stack of those, so that's nice. A little bit of uh, everything in there. Might have to break up the dirt into other containers. All the obsidian back in there. A twine now to make them those. Plenty of flint. will be our backup for making tools. And actually, let me put my arrows over here. Don't need to be carrying those around until we actually go hunting. Got spears with me. Alrighty, well, I think that'll be it for this video. Not not a terrible amount of action going on. But I think that's going to be kind of how the winter goes. Uh, I'm just going to be surviving. Probably sticking around pretty close to base. And uh, doing some improvements here and there. And I'll bring you back in as time permits and as interesting stuff happens. Really dark. <laughs> uh, I might just do some panning on these cold, dark nights. Because I did get uh, that other copper spearhead. I got a flint spearhead and some arrowheads. As well, a little bit of quartz. And I think I found three copper in a couple blocks worth of sand. So. Thanks as always for watching, folks. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.